Hey everybody, welcome to my video about the top everyday Apple Watch uses. In this video, I'm going to go over what I think are the best features the Apple Watch currently offers. Whether you're looking to buy an Apple Watch or already have one, this video should show you all the best features the Apple Watch offers today. Let's get to it! So let's get the obvious out of the way first. Of course the Apple Watch can tell you the time and offers cool watch face options but it also happens to be one of the best fitness and health trackers. You can track your exercise using a combination of the workout app and activity app to learn about how many calories you've burned, how much exercise you've gotten, and even the steps you've taken that day. In terms of health tracking, the Apple Watch also has a blood oxygen monitor, ECG, heart rate monitor, and can even help you track your sleep if you wish to use that feature. And of course, it all syncs to Apple Health, where you can drill down to get the most data about your health and workout. Some people say the health and fitness tracking alone are lifesavers. Another feature of the Apple Watch that I use daily is the Now Playing app. It's really handy if you use wireless headphones like AirPods or Beats Studio Buds. You can play the music from your iPhone and adjust the volume right from your Apple Watch, so you don't have to take your iPhone out of your pocket or bag. It even offers basic playback controls like play, pause, fast forward, and rewind. And it even works with Spotify and most other music apps. Plus, a really cool feature of the Now Playing app on the Apple Watch is that it will also let you control your Apple TV as well. It's not as great as using the new Siri remote, of course, but I find it pretty handy when I have company over and someone else has the remote. The next Apple Watch feature I use daily is Apple Pay. It's so simple and convenient to be able to just double press the side button and bring up your cards and pay. Of course you'll need to make sure your debit or credit cards are compatible, but the list is growing with most major banks and cards being compatible nowadays. I live in Canada and pretty much every major bank supports Apple Pay, and most retailers support TAP. I use it often for groceries, drugstore purchases, and even at restaurants when I eat out. It's one of those things that once you're used to it, getting your wallet out becomes a hassle when you want to pay. Another handy feature of the Apple Watch is the ability to locally ping your iPhone if you know it's around, but you're not sure where you left it. I find this especially handy when I've forgotten where I put my phone down in my condo. Just go to Control Center and press the icon with the ringing iPhone on it. When you ping your iPhone, it makes a sound that lets you locate it. It's not a replacement for the Find My app, as that works pretty much everywhere to locate your iPhone. But the ping iPhone button is perfect for when you're at home and forgot which room you left your iPhone in. The next top feature I use every day on the Apple Watch is Siri. Siri on the Apple Watch has really improved over the last few years. You can use Siri to set timers when you're cooking or doing the laundry. You can also use Siri to control your HomeKit smart home. I use Siri often to control my lights or set the temperature in my condo. I find it especially handy when I'm walking home at night. I often use Siri to turn on the lights before I enter my building, so when I walk into my condo, it's already lit up. Another top feature of the Apple Watch is how you can use it to unlock your Mac or iPhone. In regards to your iPhone, if you're wearing a mask, you can now use your Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone when Face ID sees you wearing a mask. It's a really cool feature. You can check out my video all about it in the iCard above. I'll also leave a link in the description below. You can also use it to unlock your Mac. And now there's a relatively new feature where you can double click your Apple Watch in lieu of typing in your administrator password to do things like deleting secure files or even buying things on the App Store. I find this way more convenient than typing in my password. A cool bonus feature that I may not use daily, but I do seem to use at least weekly, is the built-in flashlight. Whether you're in a dark room or just need more light to find something that fell between the cushions on the couch, you can use the flashlight button in Control Center to turn your Apple Watch into a mini flashlight. It's pretty bright too. The last feature of the Apple Watch that I use often is the Apple Watch Camera app. It lets you remotely control the camera on your Apple Watch. I find it especially useful for when you want to set up your iPhone to take a group selfie. The Apple Watch offers so many useful features. These are just some of the ones I use often or daily. Did I miss a feature you use daily? Share it with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week.
As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.